Morning everyone, um, I'd like to start this video with a bit of an apology, um, not really an apology but an explanation. This video uh, has been a bit difficult to make, there's been a few bits missing here and there, you know I've not been as on the ball with recording what's been going on on this job just due to the fact that, I'll mention later on, but um, my dad's been battling um, cancer for the last 12 months and during the course of this job um, things had hotted up a little bit and I was getting a lot of calls. Um, he lives quite a way away, so I was sort of, um, sort of on ready on call, um, and I had to go down this weekend as he went into sort of end of life care and to a hospice, and he sadly passed away on Sunday evening. Um, so yeah, it's been just been a bit of a tough, tough time. It's but you know I can imagine you all understand it's not been a priority, but um, yeah, we've put a little something together. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, it's a fantastic looking job, the customers are really happy, but um, yeah, next, the next video we'll try and get a little bit more, a bit, bit more footage for you all, so yeah, here we go. I'm going to um, just put a little bit of a tribute to my dad at the end of the video, just a couple of pictures and, and whatever, so um, yeah, so how it goes I suppose. Morning everybody, it's Nick at BMP Paving. This week we've got a really cool job on. We're doing a big porcelain patio. We're cutting with a wet saw. There's walling going in, steps, footing. So plenty of stuff on this video for you to enjoy. Roll the titles. So we have the materials that have been delivered. We've got a bit of wash sand to start with, um, some bricks for the wall and some we've already took around the back, some block work. This is the porcelain we're gonna be using. It's like a nice gray color. Obviously got packs of that. So what we're gonna be doing is, you have to excuse all this rubble and such. I think this is the customer's own project. It's nothing to do with our job. So what we're gonna be doing is from this gate onwards, we're gonna come down this pathway here. This is all gonna be done in porcelain, this recessed manhole lid here. And then this area here will be done in porcelain. So it'll be a new patio area. As you can see, we've already started removing things. Uh, this was like a, a decked area, like an artificial turf. So we've dug out um, a trench and poured a foot in yesterday. And the bricklayers are coming today to install a new front wall. Got a machine here to help us move any roadstone and such. Yeah, so just waiting for uh, people to arrive and start the ball rolling. I'd also like to point out that the neighbor has pet pigs, which are pretty cool. And they're hungry, hence the screaming. They make noise like this when they're hungry, which will come out and feed them in a minute and then go quiet again. Beautiful little things. Pretty cool pets, eh? Roadstone arriving. Type 1 MOT. Okay, so we have dug out what we need to. We've just brought about, I think it's about six or seven ton round at the minute, and we've whacked it. We're going to bring the stone, roadstone up to this height of the block work. So there's a good foot of roadstone going in easily. Let's get it level through. So the block work and brick works gone in we've had to um well it's nearly in the uh we've had a bit of rain this morning and the the bricklayer's made of sugar so he had to go home um to protect himself at all costs because they're uh, bricklayers if anyone doesn't know anything about building sites they're the most precious human beings on the planet they can't load themselves out can't mix they won't bow or anything if there's a brick about a foot away from them they'll ask you to pass it to them one spot of rain they go <laughs> they get the sense off so um, yeah, so the wall will be completed tomorrow, should have been done today, but uh, such is life. Stone's still coming round. That's the first 10 ton gone in, just got the second one being delivered now. We'll use the machine to bar it around the back. 
morning everyone, it's Nick at BMP. We're on day five, believe it or not. I apologize for not videoing as much as I'd like to. Um, I've had a few problems. My, um, first of all, as you can see, there's a bit of a change of scenery. My van decided to um, to pack up on Wednesday. So it's uh, it's sitting at the mechanic. So I'm in a, currently in my mum's one litre bright red Vauxhall Corsa. So I'll be driving this for the foreseeable. And also I've got a bit of, um, personal stuff going on at home. My dad's um, been in hospital battling cancer for a while and he's um, just, well, he should be coming home. He's been offered palliative care now. So it's been a bit of a shitty week, but uh, a show must go on in terms of work, unfortunately. So um, I think that's the problem with these kind of jobs is you can't just have a couple of week off. You can't just ring in sick. So, you know, in an ideal world, I'd take a few weeks out at the minute, but uh, yeah. That's not the way it works, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, we'll crack on. So as you can see, uh, yeah, the front's a little bit chaotic at the minute. Um, it's quite difficult in here, as you can see, parking's a nightmare. It's all a permitted area down to the city centre there. So we're struggling to um, put materials out on the pavement and so on. But um, yeah, so we've got um, quite a bit of material to get through on here at the minute, get it clear. So the front wall is complete. We, um, we've, we've got the back ready to start laying hopefully today, which is Friday. Um, yeah, it's taken, I think it ended up being 30, 25 tonne of roadstone in here. So yeah, it's a large area. There's the bottom steps gone in, ready to be laid. So nice big step there. It's a big area, I think it's about 50, 40, 50 square meters on this back. Um, the wallings, the wall on the front's been completed and the footing's been poured here for the, um, the steps down into the garden, which is going in today. Um, yeah, so it's starting to take shape. So um, keep you updated. I'll try my best to, to do a bit better and get some more videos done. Bottom step going in, first row of slabs going in with spacers. And guys, it's Monday the 21st, day six on this job. And as you can see, we now have installed all the brickwork and wall in. Steps are in and we've started a bit of slabbing on Friday afternoon. As you can see, the retaining wall's gone in, it's brick and block, it's wall tied, etc. Um, we've tried as best to match it in with the extension on the back. It's not perfect a bit, but I mean, it's, it's age related. So it's just a newer batch of the brick. So it goes in all the way along. The new steps built. We were trying to decide where to, obviously it's gonna be a slight off cut and we were trying to decide whether to alternate at the ends and stuff, but we decided we thought the cut would look better through the middle ultimately. So that's what we're gonna do. And we managed to get some slabs laid, although it was difficult as we were sharing a mixer with the bricklayer. Um, and just just getting up, um, the first day in setting up and getting going, it, it always takes time. So today, hopefully, I mean, if all goes well, I'd say we'd get a good majority of this back laid. We can we can sometimes lay 30 metres in a day if we get the gang running properly. You know, one on the mixer, one on the barrows, one emptying the barrows out, one knocking the mixer around. So that's the way we'll, uh, that's where we'll hit it this morning. Try and get a bit of organisation, some tidying done. Get rid of some of this um, this rubble and bits and bobs that are around. Problem is again, um, we don't have a lot of room on the front of the job. Problem is we don't have a lot of room on the front of the job outside. So what we're going to have to do is ultimately is leave it the site a little bit mucky, a little bit messy, um, and then hit it at the end. So once we're all done and ready to, we'll sort of clean on the way out, take all the rubble and bits of brick and things away. Bag them up on the front and we'll get uh, DJ projects to come and collect the uh, the rubble bags. Morning boys. Mm. Girls. Mm. I haven't got any food. Mm. Uh, need some breakfast. Mm. Want your breakfast? Mm. Yeah. I'll say after six days of this noise, things get a little bit tedious. Right, so we're going to show you a few little hints and tips. So we drop the bed down out the wheelbarrow with a shovel. We knock it around with a big float. Don't know the actual technical name for that float, but it's big really handy. Is what it's, called. it's called a big trowel. 
float. Big float. We we'll use that rather than a little trowel to, to spread the bed around evenly as possible. We'll try to get it, you know, just a little bit proud of the level you want to go to with the bed. Cool. So what you want to do is, guys, get your get your bed a little bit higher, like this, and then we've just notched out. 20 mil, which is what these porcelain uh, slabs are. It's the depth of the slab. So you cut that out of a bit of timber. You're going to put that on. Just give it a little pull back. See, these are little hints and tips after 15 years of laying them. Give you a rough bed, and then you want that completely flat. Don't do it DIY, what these bodge guys do when they do this, which is going to leave big <coughs> gaps underneath where water can sit. And essentially, if you get any water in there and it freezes, the whole bed's going to pop off and it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. So get that nice and flat. Right, so next, once your bed's in, we drop in some tile spacers slash tile levelers. So it'll give you the right joint gap between the two slabs. And also we'll show you in a minute how they help you set the correct level. Next thing is, if people don't use them, we've um, SBR'd the bottom of the slab. These grabos come in handy as well. There are other things you can use, but we found these to be pretty good. Like a suction cup to help you lift and move the slab around. So we're gonna get that to just about the correct position. Not drop your sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> cool, so we've got this tile beater, which is a new addition to the family at BMP Paving, which is going to make life a lot easier. And if you look, who uses it? Slightly. Just getting all those air bubbles out, knocking the bed down, and bringing the water up to the surface, which is basically going to alleviate any air pockets underneath the slabs. <laughs> level we'll try and show you a demonstration later of like exactly how it works but it's um it's pretty cool it will literally the, the slab will just drop and lower instantly like you say these are the leveling self-leveling what they call self-leveling uh tile levelers just a little tip what you want to do is put one one way one from the other side and it's going to stop the slab pulling out a little bit and then we get our little gun, just give them a tighten up. While you're doing it, try and push the slab in because it tends to pull away a little bit. You can see it pulling away from there, so we give it a tap back. Check the level, it's perfectly level and good to go. Again, you don't have to use these, you can. We have previously or in the past just used tile spacers, but we find it just helps with them. Um, the joints and the, and the corners where the corners meet of the slab you tend to get a little tiny bits of uh, discrepancy only millimeters but you need a little you can hold water in little tiny corners and so on so these are really helpful and then when you're done just come back to the middle just give it one last little vibration you if, see the water if you can see look how much the slab's gone down and the bed's risen so it saves a lot of Hitting things with rubber moulds and hammers and chipping and breaking slabs and as we all know anyone's installed slabs if you're hitting with moulds you probably lose one out of ten, one out of fifteen you'll crack or they'll have especially with the natural stone they'll have faults in the in the stone ribbons and that they end up cracking and, and so on so it's a lot of wastage so this is a bit more of a delicate way I suppose of doing that. As you can see that's another slab gone down and that is how we set it out and we do it Chris you meant to look really happy when you're on video <laughs> <laughs> say I love slabbing Depression. That's, that's it mental health awareness everybody slabbing's not just for Christmas it's for life Right, so we're starting to get somewhere. Bit of a nightmare because of the size of the area and the bond we've had to use. We've had to, um, we had to sort of run the front in first to make sure it worked, um, worked slab. So we're um, 
just there. We're just about finished to the end now. We've just got to do the path on the way out, top step, obviously clean all the garden up and so on. But yeah, it's um, slowly getting there. Can't pretend porcelain is the easiest thing to work with. Looks good though. So that all the gravel's in and the jointing's done. All right, everyone, so let's look at the finished product. It's taken two weeks, two weeks and half a day. Um, but like I said, we've had a few, um, it's been a bit difficult these last couple of weeks. So yeah, here we go. So, we did installed all the new retaining walls, brick and block, new steps going up, a new step going up into the bifold doors, and this is all in a grey 450 by 900 porcelain. Very difficult to work with. You know, I mean, the, cut, the, the, the wet table we use is, you know, it probably costs you about a pound 50 per cut. So, you know, but we think, we hope the customer will be happy. We think it looks absolutely fantastic. Just gonna let all the compound and the, the grout set so that the customer can then probably a couple of days time start putting the furniture on. So but we're really happy with the result. Hope you guys like it also. job complete um yeah obviously we're happy with it we hope the customer is and by all means anybody you know the the idea behind this is is marketing so if anyone wants to contact us i'll leave the details at the end of the video and um yeah hope to hear from you so like i say don't employ the uh, please don't employ the cowboys and the sausages if you want something doing get it done properly <laughs>